Happy, happy Sunday. So I know some people are going to be coming on and, you know, some people are going to be doing a replay. Some people are going to be on right now. So, yes, I see some people popping on. Hello, everybody. Hi, Rich. Hi, Felicia. What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday. Hey, Sean. Hey, Shakira. Hey. Hey, Jacola. What's up, everybody? It is a wonderful Sunday. I was actually debating if I was going to go live today because it's Sunday and I didn't know um, if people were like going to be at church or what they were going to be doing. But yes, I was just like, let me just go live on them. Let me go live. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I don't know why people want to call when I, as soon as I go live. Like, as soon as I go live, they want to call. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give some people some time to get on because a lot of people knew that I was going to be getting on at 1. Hey, Farrah. Hey, Gerard. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Cree. Where are you guys from? Wait, where is everybody located? Because I have different friends from all over. Yes, yes. Today I am going to Hello, be talking friends. about... <laughs> Aaron's so silly. Thank you, Cree. Thank you, thank you. I was looking crazy y'all the other day. Don't play with me. I, I was like, man, I gotta get it together. I'm trying to go live. They ain't about to see me looking crazy. <laughs> no, I've had went live a couple of times looking crazy, but yes, Miami, woohoo, Florida in the house. Yes, yes, Alabama, nice. Central Texas, cool. I'm in Houston, Kim. Yes. Houston in the house, Atlanta, woohoo! I'm, I'm going to be coming to all these different places. Mm -hmm. Trust me, trust me. Oh, cool, Harlem, nice, nice. Where is everybody from? Thanks, America, South Carolina, woohoo! Awesome, awesome. Yes, I'm just giving the people a little bit more time. Some people just gonna have to watch the replay because I don't want to take too much of your time. Hey, Toya girl. Ohio, Arizona, cool, 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 yes, so I'm just going to go over a few things, and, and just in case the IRS or the government watching or whatever, and they see my amount of money that I made or whatever, just know a lot of that was in crypto, so, oh. crypto, so y'all can't try to say, because some of that was fiat, so just know, when I file these taxes, I'm, I'm putting the fiat amount, not the crypto amount. <laughs> Just in case they search in my email. <laughs> yes, yes. I have to put that out there. <laughs> Toya, you the one do my taxes. I'll just let you know. It's not going to say that. It's not going to say that amount. But um, yes, yes, y'all. I just wanted to go over something really quick because, you know, you know, I was actually in a deep, deep state of depression just a few years ago. And um, I know a lot of people are dealing with different things in their life. And I just want to give people just a, you know, just some strategies if you are going through depression. And then I'm also going to get go over, you know, how to manifest different things in your life, how I manifest. Lakeisha, I just saw your message. Um, I'm on Central Time. So that time that I gave you for that meeting that we have, that was in Central Time. So after this live, within the next hour, we're going to do that. So the other thing I'm going to be going over is the 90-day um the 90 day what is it transformation challenge that i'm going to be doing i'm going to go over a little bit over recruiting you know if people are struggling with recruiting just a little bit i'll go over that because i'll save that for our next live i'm going to go over mindset and then i'm going to go over how cryptocurrency is changing people's lives just so you know what this live is going to be about before you you know how you get on somebody people live you're like oh, i thought this was going to be about somebody else do i know how to get a card a, a card for cryptocurrency for Bitcoin, you can get a BitPay card, BitPay.com. Hey, everybody. So, yes. So, yes, the, um, a little bit about me. Like, I was very, very depressed. I was very sad. I was very um, de just depressed in general. And a lot of people didn't knew, know that. This was a few years ago because I would smile and be happy. I was very sweet, very nice to people. They didn't know. And a little bit of the reason why I was depressed because I had a lot of financial burdens and I kept having to ask my dad for money. And I knew he was getting sick and tired of me <laughs> asking him. And it kind of sucks when you don't have like a couch, 
You don't have a dining room table. We didn't have a washing machine and dryer. It was a lot of things in our house that we didn't have. We didn't even have, you know how you put your bed on the little uh, thing and it's a, um, I forget what it's called. The, you put your mattress on the thing and we didn't have that. We had our mattresses on the floor. And because we couldn't pay our rent, I'll tell you, my rent was like 600 bucks, less than $600 at that time. I couldn't even afford that. So we had to have a family member stay with us all the time. So it started to get very depressing. Pressing. The other thing I was depressed um, because, um, you know, being married and, and both of y'all struggling is very, very hard. Especially when, you know, us females, we grow up and we thinking that we, you get in a relationship, you just pretty much, you just get taken care of. You don't got to do nothing. All you do is take care of the kids. And you, you, you just think that fairy tale that when you, when you get married, some of y'all are lucky enough to be okay when you get married, but I wasn't, I didn't, we didn't have any type of, you know, finances is really low. And so you thinking that, and then I'm struggling and, and it's eviction notices. And then, you know, I felt like it was just very hard. So I was depressed and I didn't know how to get over it. I would say like, why do I deserve this? I'm such a great person. You know, I would say, why, why my husband not helping me more? Why this happening? And this and that. Just don't have no money. When you don't have money, everything turns crazy. Like you ain't trying to have sex. You're not trying to uh, talk to nobody. You ain't trying to do nothing. And a lot of people don't understand that. And so you just depressed. So the thing that my thing is, I had to understand that I, I had to go through a lot. So what I did was I just figured out, I said, enough is enough. I, you have to, you, it's a, something called unconsciously unconscious. Unconsciously unconscious is when you are doing something over and over again, expecting different results, and you don't, you are not conscious to the fact that you actually are creating your reality. I was unconsciously unconscious that I was literally drifting. I wasn't really even thinking properly. All I could think about was all of the BS that I was going through. Okay. The thing that helped me out was I realized I just came to the conclusion that if I'm going to, I was blaming my mom, my dad, I was blaming my husband. I was blaming everybody around me, everybody around me. You know what I mean? I was blaming everybody around me. And what I had to realize that even though, even though cert certain things in my belief system knew that I'm supposed to have some type of help in these areas, I had to, t I had to understand that I am the one who, who made these choices to get in this situation. I am the one who put myself in this situation. So if you're dealing with a pe people or, or anything in your life and you feel the need to blame them, you are the one who are dealing with them. You are the one who chose to be with that person. So you can't sit up there and blame them when you knew what you was getting to. And even if you didn't know what you was getting to, you have the choice to either stay in that situation or get out or do something about it. Okay? So I got to the point where I said, I decided, I said, you know what? I'm not doing something right. And a lot of people are not willing to say they are not doing something right in their life. They want to figure out everything in their environment. They want to pick and choose everything in their environment, their job and everything. But I decided, I said, you know what? I saw this guy who didn't have any arms and legs. And I was like, this man, he don't have any arms and legs. How dare I? How dare I? come up in this world and sit up here complaining about everything in my life when I have arms, I have legs. He was sitting up there speaking in front of people. He was he was uh, wealthy and everything. And like I'm just sitting there like, what am I doing wrong? So I decided to get on my knees and bow down and surrender and say, you know what? I surrender. I said, God, I don't know what I'm doing, but I need you to help me because I'm not doing it right. I do not know what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm wanting this, wanting that, and then I'm not getting it. So help me figure out what I need to do. And that is what I did. And when I started to have visions, and I had visions and inputs, because he said, because I wanted to give up. And he, t he woke me up and he said, you need to go out and you need to go help my people. But looking at my skills and looking at my abilities, you have to understand, it's when you were born, you were born with powers inside of you, okay? You have to unlock them, though. 
Because if you go, if you go about life and you're not tapping into your own power, you will never unlock it. And so I had to realize I needed his help because I looked at my skills and realized I don't have the skills. And he started downloading things inside of me. He said, think about who are the people that you want. What are the results you want in life? You need to figure out what those people are doing because they have it down pat. Okay. And I started looking at that and I started looking at the skills that they had. And I was just looking like, whoa, I don't have those skills. I knew I didn't have those skills. And I started looking. It was like people who were inspirational. They were motivational. They knew how to market because I wanted to make money online because I hated my job. Every time I went to work, I would hate it. And I had this burning <laughs> sensation in me that I need to get out of here. And my husband would keep getting mad at me because I keep kept quitting my job. And I'm sitting up here looking like, well, you ain't. I'm like, well, give me some money. <laughs> but I had to get to the point where, like, you have to take control of your life. You are contract. You are attracting everything in your life. And even at that time, I attracted somebody who didn't have nothing. I didn't have nothing. So I couldn't get mad. So I had to become the person. <laughs> I was like, is you going to give me some money? Like, give me some money already. I'm broke. And, you know, you know, I went ghetto black girl, whatever you want to call it. But <laughs> then I had to get myself together. I was, he was attracted to me. I was attracted to him. And we both was, was struggling. But, you know, I'm still trying to find the funds. And I'm asking my dad. So I was really irritated. And that was really, really getting me depressed because how my dad was, he, I couldn't even barely see my dad because he was working so hard trying to provide for us and give us everything we wanted. So when I didn't have that, I was depressed because I saw what he was doing, and that's what I was raised like. So when you have when you have beliefs and it's not matching up to your life, you have to figure out why is why are you attracting these things. So that's what I did. And then there's people who think. So I, I realized I didn't have these skills. So I would start to go through the skills and I would say, I would say, Lord, help me do this skill. Let, help me with this skill. Cause I would get nervous and scared because I'm like, these people have wonderful skills. And that at that point I was struggling. I was sucking. I couldn't even make a hundred dollars online. I was struggling, like struggling. I would wake up. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was just joining stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to recruit. I didn't know how to get no lead. Somebody told me about a lead, and I was like, what the heck is a lead? <laughs> it was bad because a lot of people see me, and they think like, oh, she just busts out of nowhere, and it wasn't like that. I had to go through um, personal development and grow. So my situation, I started to um, ask for help with those skills, and I started to research. I researched and researched, and I didn't have a mentor for f over five years. Over five years, I didn't have a mentor. This year, I actually hired a seven-figure mentor. I hired him. And that time, before I met him, I had already made six figures, but so now I'm on the road to seven figures now. Because I've already made six figures. I know exactly what to do to do that. I'm on the road to seven figures now, and I should hit that by next year or the year after that. And I know I can do that. But at the same time, you have to understand that there are certain things that you have to learn. Okay? There are certain things that you have to learn. You have to. And if whatever you're not willing to do, that is going to stop your income right there. Cold right there. If you're not willing to do things, if you, if you can find out who has what you want and you ask them, what do I need to do? If you go down that list and you realize there are certain things on that list you're not willing to do, don't expect those results. Because I give people all types of training. And, and I had to realize... It, there's some people are going to do it and some people are not going to do it. But I don't want you to drain yourself with people who are not willing to do what it takes because they are stopping their own income. And I tell people different things to do, but they, they want to do what they want to do, so they're going to get their results. And, and I know for a fact that they can't blame me for that. Because they want to do, they want to pick and choose what they want to do, but you, you want to get, they want to get my results, but they want to pick and choose what they want to do. So if you're going to pick and choose what you want to do, and you're going to do what you've been doing, you're going to get your results. They, I'm, I try to help people understand that. And then you have to understand that when you get into this journey, there are going to be people who are victims, and there are going to be people who are victors, Okay. And let me explain the difference because my mentor told me that it was a difference. And he, I wanted, I was draining myself because I was broke 
And I was, you know, learning how to make money online. And then I learned, I'm still learning, of course. And there were people who were victims. And I didn't understand this because I was stressed out after I started making a lot of money online. I started getting stressed out. I started getting drained. And I didn't know what, why. And then he had to break it down to me. He was like, it's because you're dealing with victims. You have to be very, very clear on the type of person that you want to work with. Otherwise, they will drain your life. You will tell them to do this. You will tell them to do that. They won't do it. And they will drain your life. And they will blame you and everybody else. A victim, there's a difference. Because I wanted to help everybody. But you have to realize, some people need to, you have you want to help people help themselves. You want to lead them in the right direction. But you don't have to do it for them. They need to be willing to do what it takes. And they have to be willing to, to be ready to learn, do, and become more. And if you're dealing, I was dealing with victims. I was dealing with people because I felt sorry for them. Because I felt sorry for them. I used to be so broke. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to help you. I want to help you. You know what I mean? But they didn't want to help themselves. So I was getting drained because they wasn't following none of the stuff I was telling them to do. And I kept getting drained and I didn't know why. So you have to understand the difference between a victim and a victim. And a victim is a person who's going through a situation and all they do is complain, whine, complain, whine, they don't want to learn nothing, they don't want to do nothing, they don't want to learn nothing, they don't want to do nothing. That's a victim. And I had to get very clear on the type of person that I wanted to work with. Then there's a person who is a victor. They could be the same, they could be going through, they could be broke, broken and everything. They going to vent to you. Okay, that's fine. They going to vent to you. And that's because we all go through things and I'm willing to help you. And I'm willing to be there and listen to people. Yes, because I went through and I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, we got to get it together. Oh my gosh, sir, we, we going to have to get you right and tight. I'm willing to listen. But at the same time, they have to be willing to do what it takes. So I got very clear. And, and I'm telling this to anybody who ever wants to work with me or anybody who has ever worked with me. I'm not dealing with victims. I'm not about to deal with you if you want to complain and cry and whine only. And you don't want to do nothing. You don't want to, you don't want to be consistent. You don't want to keep on doing it. You want to be in a business for 10 days and say, oh, I'm, I want to quit. I don't want to deal with those type of people. I just can't deal with them. I will probably block them if they keep, if they, I just can't, I can't deal with that. So I got very clear. I want to work with people who are either struggling and they ready to do what it takes or they got some type of money and they ready to just tear it up. Or they wealthy and they willing to do what it takes. Every All of the people I want to work with are people willing to follow directions and do what it takes. I don't want to work with people who are just so broke and broken and they don't want to, they don't want to do nothing about their life. I don't want to deal with those people because it's going to drain me. And I don't got time for that. I just don't got time for that. And you have to be very clear on the type of people that you want to work with, the type of customers that you want. And when you become clear on what you want and who you want to work with, they will start to start to pop up. So if you get a lot of people who you in an opportunity and you know there's an investment and you get a lot of people who say, oh, I don't have the money. If you get in a lot of people like that. It's because you need to get very clear on what you want. Once you get very clear on what you want, you will attract that. And once you are start doing what you need to do, you will attract leaders. You get what I'm saying? And if you're not clear, the universe is going to give you whatever. Whatever you, whatever, fly by whoever, anybody, whatever. Because you're not clear. So that's a big tip. Be very clear. And another thing I want to say, people have to have belief. They have to have hope. They have to have faith and they have to have a willingness to do and learn and do whatever it takes. If they don't have those, then you're going to be driving in circles. You're going to be driving in circles, dealing with the same crazy folks who really not ready to do nothing with their life for real, but they just want to complain. These are the people who, the, 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 you know how you do the New Year's revolution? And then the next day they do the same New Year's revolution. They ain't never doing it. It's because those are the type of people they spinning in circles. Okay, because they're not understanding that they need to grow as a person. And a lot, and some people say, all you care about is money and this and this and this. First off, that's not all I care about. I need money to do the things I need to do. You know what I mean? I need money to do the things I need to do. I want to help people. Well, who am I going to help without the money? If I want to make a building, that's going to cost a lot of money. I need the money to get that. I'm willing to help people, but I, I need the money to do that. 
money is not evil. People say money is evil. Money is people who just get this, just they just got a different mindset. Anybody who say money is evil, they probably don't got none. And if you want some, you probably want to get away from them because they're gonna be telling you all the wrong stuff. When people touch the money, that's when it becomes evil or good. When people touch the money, when people get the money, it's either going to become evil or good because based on the person, money is just paper. You see what I'm saying? So if anybody ever tell you that like money is paper, that's like saying that's like saying a chair is evil. That's like saying a cup is e is evil. You know what I'm saying? That don't even make sense. So anyway, now I'm going to give you a tip about manifesting what you want. And if you if you ever heard of be do have, you want to understand be do have. Okay? Have if you can see having is at the end, okay? Having is where you manifest it, all that you want and all that you can dream of. Before you have, you must you must create the the goal. You must create the intention. And that means that you must know what you want before you even create a strategy. You see what I'm saying? You have to know what you want. Okay? You have to be very clear. Until you do that, you're going to be doing stuff all willy-nilly, and then you're not, it's just going to be whatever. So you have to become the person who does the thing that has what you want. You get what I'm saying? People want to skip all the way over be, do, have. And I'm going to say that again. You have to, in order to have what you want, you must do the thing that the person who is the person does to have it. <laughs> so you must become the person who does the thing that has the object of your desire. A lot of people are skipping over skip steps. They want to have this. They want to have that. But they don't want to do this and they don't want to do that. They don't want to become nothing. They don't want to be nothing. They just want to settle for whatever comes their way. And that's not how it works, okay? And the reason, the way that you get out of depression, remember I said I was very depressed? And a lot of it dealt with finances because I didn't have nothing. And there's a lot of things I want to do. I wanted to travel. I wanted to do this. I wanted to have freedom. I wanted to be like, hey, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese whenever we want to. Let's let you having a birthday party. We about to get you whatever you want. We about to go to the store and drop this, drop that. You need school supplies? I'm about to get it for you. What you need? What you got? We about to go. Matter of fact, we about to... Tell your teacher we going on a trip right now. I want to look in the mirror and say, I want to go here. I don't want to have to ask a boss. You get what I'm saying? And in order for me to do that, I had to become more. I had to become more. And that's what you have to do. Whatever you want to do, you need to figure out what the successful people doing what you want is doing. Figure out what they're doing. And then what you need to do is go figure out, get that list. And you need to say, I need to do this, this, and that. And if you're not willing to do anything on that list, don't expect to have it. Because that person has became enough to do that thing and have that. You see what I'm saying? So if you know you need to recruit in your business and you want to make a lot of money, you need to go learn how to recruit. If you know you need to learn how to get leads, you need to go learn how to get leads. If you know you need to be a leader, you need to learn how to be a leader. And I'm going to tell you this. When you're dealing with recruiting, let me tell you a secret about recruiting. And hopefully people watch this and they listen. When you are recruiting, a lot of people hate recruiting. A lot of people hate recruiting, you know? And the thing that they, it's not really the recruiting that they hate, they but they don't know. This is what I'm talking about unconsciously unconscious. It's the rejection. It's the rejection. Because they don't know what they're doing. And then they're telling people to join my program. And they really know that they don't know what they're doing for real. So the person is like, no. The next person like, no. The next person they like, no. And before they know it, they're talking to all these people. And everybody's saying no. So they're getting rejection, rejection, rejection. And how do you feel when you get rejected? You feel like nothing. You feel sad. You know what I mean? You feel bad. And they are correlating that feeling of rejection to recruiting. So therefore, now they don't like recruiting. You see what I'm saying? Now they're saying that they don't like recruiting, but the real thing is they don't like rejection. And the reason they're getting rejected, okay, listen up. The reason they are getting rejected is because the people who are in this type of business want to be with the leaders. They want to be with the person who, who know the stuff. They want to be with the person who has the mindset. 
They want to be with the person who who know what they doing. Don't don't when you go to the if you love ice cream, you go to the the ice cream store and you know when you go to the ice cream place that there's one person who's gonna give you a little bit of ice cream and follow the rules and then it's another person who when you come to the uh ice cream place and they plug you they give you all the ice cream the people who want to join the business is they want to be with those type of people but you're not willing to learn the skills become the person that you need to become to do it right i tell people go make a video I can't make no video. Like, I just can't make no video. No, please. You see what I'm saying? Well, uh, uh well, I mean, okay, well, we, let's go to the next thing. You just cut off $5,000 a month off your schedule. Just know that. We're going to go to the next step, but you just cut off an extra $5,000 to $20,000 off your, off your goal. Let's knock that out. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go talk to 10 people a day. I got to talk to people? What? Now, you didn't tell me all of that now. You didn't tell me that. Okay, well, let's take off another, all of your money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You will feel more comfortable with talking to people if you knew what you was doing. When I talk to people, I don't care if they join or not. I'm, I'm looking for people who are ready to learn, ready to do what it takes. You know what I mean? That's the people I'm looking for. It's, it's not about, some people are not going to be ready. A lot of people say, you stupid for not joining me. No, that person was not ready. You have to understand, some people are going to be ready. Some people, you know, they're going to be at the point where they lost their job and they need something. And some people are at the point where they're happy with what they're doing. So you can't, you, you have to be, you know what I mean? So whatever you are doing, whatever you're doing, you need to know your target market. Target market. If a person if a person is freaking selling toupees, they're going to go to the people who bought toupees before. They're going to target the people who bought toupees before. So whatever you're doing, you need to know your target market. The next thing you need to know, the target market is not everybody. Your target market is not everybody. Like me, I talk, I'm talking to people who, you know, they know they're ready to go on a personal development journey. They're ready to become more. They're ready. They tired of struggling online and they're ready to learn the skills. I'm targeting those type of people. I'm not... I'm not harassing no dang on. Don't tell me to harass my dang on. Who this person? No, I'm not doing that. Because I'm searching for the right people. And those people always be telling people like, just talk to anybody, everybody. Yes, you can do that. When you first start, that's fine. You can write down everybody you know and just get them out the way. Right, but at the end of the day, you need to know who your target customer is because you know where they are. You know what their problem is. You need to know what their problem is because once you know what the problem is and you can solve it, that's why you have to become more. You need to learn how to do these things because everybody online is struggling recruiting. Not everybody, but most 97% of people online struggling recruiting, right? If you would take the time to learn, then they will look at you like, I want to join you. You, you know what you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? You see how this works? You have you you'll start getting how this how this works. And a way to get over per, depression. If anybody is trying to get over depression, because I know I have a purpose of helping people get over depression and helping people learn how to make money online. Because I struggle. I know what it's been through. And I used to say, why do I gotta struggle online? It's because you need to learn so you can help the other people struggling online. I was depressed. I had to learn how to get over depression so I could help the other people get over things. So you may think that what you're going through is BS, but until you learn how to be grateful for all of the bad things that you went through, then you will never get through the past. And the reason I was depressed because I was thinking about all of the BS every day, all the time. And if you know anything about the law of attraction, whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you focus on grows. However you are, you know, feeling throughout the day, that's going to determine what you're going to feel like tomorrow. And the reason I was depressed was because I kept thinking of it. And until you learn how to let go and say, you know what? That was the past. That was the past. I'm not going to stay on the past. I'm going to focus on what I'm going to do to do what it takes today because all you got is today and the next day and the next day the past already happened you have to understand you can't fix the past get over it fast
if you don't get over it fast, you're going to live the next 30 years thinking about Joe did this, Selena did that, this person did that. You have to let go and let God. Let him take care of it. And understand that it happened for a reason. If that didn't happen to you, you wouldn't have the strength that you have today. If that didn't happen to you, you wouldn't be as strong as you are today. I, you could ask my husband. I'm all, I was always harassing him and being on him and this and that because I was angry. You know what I mean? You could ask him now. He's like, oh, my gosh. I oh, gotta my get God. You. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, my gosh. Dang. I was harassing him. I'm like, you need to go get a job. You need to go do this. You, we need some money all the time. And he like, oh my gosh. And I was like bringing him down and he felt like he just couldn't do nothing because I wasn't happy. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I had to change. I stopped thinking about all that BS. I said, you know what? This happened for a reason. If that didn't happen, that motivated me every day to learn how to make money online. That was my motivation. That was actually my motivation. I was tired. And I said, if nobody is not going to help me financially, I need to help myself. And it wasn't like he was just trifling, like sitting on the couch. He was helping with the kids and everything. Now, if he was trifling, if he was cheating on me, if he was freaking um, not helping with the kids and all that stuff, I would have left him. Trust. But he was, you know, he had a, a gift of, you know, you know, he just had a gift that I knew he had. And I once I started to become more, once I started reading those books, Getting my getting my life closer to God, get doing this. He started to be like, hmm, man, let me get myself together. I wasn't badgering him or nothing. I was just becoming more myself. I was becoming more myself. I changed as a person. I changed as a person. I changed the way that I felt every day. I made it a a, a thing not to think about. The things I was going, I said, you know what, this may be going, I may be going through this, but you, you know what, it's for a reason. And if, if that didn't happen to me, and I, I honestly feel like if I didn't meet him and I wasn't so angry, uh, all these things, I don't think I would have been able to push myself to make over $200,000 this year. Because it was a whole long thing of me growing, of me learning, reading Think and Grow Rich, reading The Compound Effect. Reading how to win friends and influence people. Reading uh, the secrets of a millionaire mind. I realized that we all create our own reality. And because I was broken, 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 you know, he was broken, broken, and everybody was feeling the energy of of me. Everybody in my house was feeling my energy, and nobody was doing nothing. Nobody was doing nothing. So I decided to be the change in my house. You see what I'm saying? I was the change. So stop looking at everybody else to change around you. Stop looking for these people to stop harassing you or doing this to that and doing this to you. You change your mindset. And whenever negativity came, I began to think of something positive. You always reach for your best thoughts. Always reach for your highest thought, your best thought. Okay, because when you do that, you will attract more of the best things in life. The reason when you're depressed and you're, you're thinking of all of you're reliving the past over and over again, you're you're dealing, you're thinking about all of the things that you've been through. And that for that reason, your reality, that's all you can see. And that's all that will ever be. And more and more will come to you faster. In fact, the intensity of your emotion towards that thing, that is what's going to represent in your life. You see what I'm saying? So for you, you have to just, you know, change that. Change that. So, as I was saying, like I said, recruiting. Were you dealing with recruiting? I gave you those tips. You need to become more and be more. You need to be the authority figure in whatever your niche is because they're going to want to join you. That's why I get so many signups. Boy, go, go, go. He all trying to be in the thing. Okay, so, yeah, that was the tip for the recruiting. I'm going to do another one. If you don't get out the thing, I'm going to do another one. But this live is not about that. Um, the mindset. You got to change your mindset. You got to get your mindset together. Whatever you, your goals is, you have to be ready to hit your goal. Okay? I went. I had a lot of work ethic, too. A lot of people just, you know, people pray for things, but they're not willing to do the work to get it. So it's just like, 
why are you doing that? Like, that's just so, it's like a, what's the word? That's like offensive. I think that's offensive to God when you like pray for stuff and you're not willing to look at the opportunities around you. You're not seeing nothing. You're not being nothing. It's just like an insult, I think. Like, I think that's an insult. You you praying for God to do something when he gave you the power already. All you needed to do was ask and then get up and go get it. It's too many people asking for stuff that they're not willing to do nothing about. They're not willing to go meet new people. When, when you expand your mind and you expand your network, you better learn how to love people. I know that much because we are meant to help each other. You better learn how to expand yourself, expand your mind, get better at your skills, and you need to learn how to network. That's going to determine your net worth. Trust me. Trust me. If you don't like people right now, I used to did not like people. I used to be like, oh, I do not like people. I used to be like that, but when I realized we all are here to love each other and support each other and be there for each other and help people with different aspects in their life, which you have a gift in, okay, when you do that, then it becomes different. If you grow your network to over, you know, 100, 500, 1,000 people uh, a year, by the time 10 years hit, you can probably be a millionaire because you expanded your network. You don't know what people got. You could be one person away from a completely different life. Just like Estella. Just like Estella. I met Estella. She, she didn't make no money online for two years. I, she about to make over $15,000 this month. This is her first month ever working with me. Okay? So, like I was talking about, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what else I'm talking about, y'all? <laughs> I don't know. So, like I said... Just if you don't know the thing, well, if you have never heard of quantum physics, they did an experiment about waves and some other things. Don't quote me on this story. I'm probably telling it very wrong, but you'll get the picture. <laughs> when you are, when they did a test, it was like seeing like the little neurons, the little atoms going through this little thing, this little thing, and they was observing it, and they realized it became waves or something. But they put a human in front of it, and the person was observing it with their eyes, and they said. They said, is it going to be, uh, what's going to happen or whatever. That When that human came, it changed the whole experiment. Okay? It changed the whole experiment, y'all. That means whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're speaking about, whatever you're doing, you, whatever you expect, that is what's going to happen. Like, people say to me all the time, they say, I cannot recruit. Don't tell me I got to recruit. And what they are doing is making that re their reality. This, they're literally making that their reality. The moment that you say you can't do something, you literally just made it Man, your you reality. You literally just screwed yourself on recruiting anybody. Nobody is going to join a person who says they can't recruit. Because if the person knows they got to recruit, they know they don't need to join you because you don't know what you're doing. And when you say that, you literally change everything going on around you. And it changes to she can't recruit. He can't recruit. So therefore, we're going to block off all the people who would have joined your business because you're not the one to go to. But when you say, even though I'm not as good as I want to be, I'm becoming better and better every day, and I can do this, when you have a, a deep desire of whatever you want to do, then that's when it happens. And this is another thing. If you have a dream, if you have a vision, and you say, nobody will support my dream, nobody will support my vision, don't nobody got to support your dream or your vision. You got to support your dream or your vision. You. 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 You get what I'm saying? Nobody has to support your dream or vision. So please stop thinking that. Don't feel like nobody owe you anything. I don't care if it's your wife, your husband, your kids. Nobody does not have to support your dream and vision. You have to support your dream and vision. You have to support your dream and vision. You have to be willing to become more, to do more. If I would have just been like, oh, I suck. I don't know how to recruit. I don't know how to get leads. I don't know how to do anything. And then I just gave up. You know, Holton Bugs almost made me give up on mine. <laughs> he did, y'all. It was two years. I was trying and I was sucking. And I heard Holton Bugs, he makes a million dollars a month. And he said, he said, 
something about it took him seven years. He said it took him seven years to finally, you know, get to six figures or whatever before he could do anything, right? As soon as he said seven years, y'all, I was listening because I started to do my personal development. That's when I kind of started doing personal development. So I was researching successful people and you know what I mean? And I was researching him because he was really good. And I and I listened to one of his tapes and he said something about seven years, y'all. And I was like, <laughs> seven years? Dang, that's too long. I hate my job today. I hate my job now. I was like, oh. The jig is up. I'm done. I'm done with this online thing. He got me messed up if he think I'm about to take seven years. Because my mindset was jacked up. I didn't understand the power of compounding and everything. I really was ready to quit, y'all. But thank God I, I, I gave it another chance. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try it. But I'm going to try it the fast way. I'm going to find somebody who said, <laughs> I said, I'm going to find somebody who know the fast route. You know what I mean? And then I found out and and then I figured a lot of things out and I couldn't believe when I when I crunched my numbers for this year, I couldn't be believe it was almost over two hundred thousand dollars. Because my goal was um my goal was my first goal was a thousand dollars a month and then when I was stuck and I was like, I'm okay. I was like, Okay. I'm about to get to a thousand dollars a month and then I'm gonna get to two thousand dollars a month, then I'm gonna get to three thousand dollars a month, then I'm gonna get to five thousand, then I'm gonna get to ten thousand dollars a month. And then I'm going to get to $20,000 a month. I'm going to get to $30,000 a month. And I started getting nervous when I was saying this because I was looking like I can't even make $100. And then I said, oh, then I'm going to make $40,000. Then I'm going to make $50,000 a month. When I got to $50,000 a month, I stopped. Because in my mind, I was like, I don't know why she's saying these numbers. But you know what? I'm going to start with this $1,000 a month go. <laughs> that was years ago. That was years ago. And then, um, and then I hit fifty thousand dollars a month for for my first time. I had I had a fifty thousand dollar month because it wasn't. I'm not saying like it was fifty then fifty then fifty. I had a fifty thousand dollar month this year. It was my first time having a fifty thousand dollar month. And I remember me saying those goals because I had made my vision board and all this stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, I hit my goal. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, okay, I'm about to do it again. You know what I mean? I said I'm about to do it again. Then, um. Well, since if you don't know, I'm doing ACC, a program I created to help people um, learn how to make money online and get the blueprint to making money online, the simple way, the basics, 10K per month blueprint, and um, people get traffic to their business. And it's all in cryptocurrency when you get paid. You can get paid in different ways, but I've been, I've been choosing uh, cryptocurrency. So um, since I made that program, it, we started that, um, we started the new compensation plan or whatever um, in the beginning of October. And um, uh, I have made over, I think over $55,000. So I completely slayed my goal and it's, the month is still not over. So I have to change my goal to $100,000 a month because I'm thinking I'm getting this 50K a month down pat. But, you know, my average is like 20, 20, like 20,000 is like I could do that in, in my sleep. I'm working, but I could do that. Um... But yeah, fifty. I'm thinking I need to change my goal to a hundred thousand dollars a month. But yeah, I'm just helping people hit their goals. That's really all I'm doing. I'm helping people hit their goals, so therefore I'm hitting crazy goals of mine. You see what I'm saying? And Estella, I think yeah, Estella. She was telling me she hit. Uh, she chose her goal was fifteen thousand. So I told her I was like, you gonna make more than that because she had a, a three thousand eight hundred fifty dollar day, probably more than that. The other day, and then she said a bunch of other people. It was she's gonna have multiple ones. And I said you gotta change your goal because your goal is actually you're surpassing the the numbers for your time frame that you've been in. And you know I'm just helping people hit their goal, and then they're hitting I'm hitting my goal, which is crazy. So I'm just helping people and you know making money. And, and like I said, it's it's more about um fulfilling your purpose. Once you find out what your purpose is, it gets easier. And I know my purpose is to help people have. You know a better life a better freedom you know what I mean so like I said you have to have belief you have to have hope okay you have to have faith and you have to have a willingness to learn some new things that you don't know if you're trying to hit your goal you have to know that you have to learn the things that you need you know what I'm saying so with with that being said like today like everybody should go and write their goals now and write down 
what you're going to go do to do it. You write your goals down and write down what are you going to do to do it. Like, you need to have your strategy. So, if because if you have a goal and you don't have a strategy, then that's a problem. You see what I'm saying? You have to have a strategy, too, to back it up. And if somebody has the results that you want, the thing that you really need to ask them is what books are they reading? What audios are they listening to? What do they get up and do? Are they doing affirmations? Are they doing meditation? Those are the questions you need to ask. What what courses have you invested in? Those are the questions you need to ask. And a lot of people don't ask that. That's why people jump from company to company and they bring the same skills that they had in the first company. And they don't understand. They just think it's the company when it's really you and you need to learn the skills that you need to do. That's what it is. You see what I'm saying? It's the skills. You need to become more because you can slay anything that you want to. It just so happens that my program, you can make money faster doing the same thing. And I'm just telling the truth. Because you can do you can do MLM all day, which I love MLM. Nothing to MLM. I love MLM. I started with MLM. But at the end of the day, I realized affiliate marketing is faster money than MLM. Because if you can get, if you bring in somebody and you get a 10% commission or 20% commission, but you in affiliate marketing, you get like a 90% commission or a 100% commission, you're going to make money faster doing the same amount of thing, things. And then when you have leverage, then that makes it even faster. And I'm just telling the truth. And my thing, like, you know, I could do the same thing in, in, in certain companies or whatever and get le less money or whatever, less results. Less results. Because affiliate marketing is where it's at. And so, yeah, like I said, get your affirmations together. Get your goals together. And once you do that and you get your strategy strategy together, you learn the you um, figure out what you need to do on a daily basis, and you have to be willing to do it because whatever you want to do, whatever you don't, whatever you're not willing to do, that's going to be the catch that's going to stop you from hitting your goal. And I give a lot of people the blueprint uh, to to what I do, and some of them don't do it. They do what they've been doing all along, and then they come to me and they be like. Oh, what am I doing? This isn't working or something. I'm like, because I, I could go look on your page. It takes me two seconds to look on their page and see that they completely doing whatever they want to do. They just doing whatever they want to do. And I'm just like, well, you, don't be mad at me. You're going to get the results. You're going to get the results of you choosing to do what you want to do. And that's fine because we grown and I just want you to be happy. Just just know you're going to get the results for what you want to do. You're not going to get the results. From doing what I'm, I'm showing you what to do. You're going to get the results from doing what you want to do. So whatever the results you're getting now, that's because of what you're doing now. So, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, sure, I'm just being honest because I don't for, I'm not going to force grown people to follow directions. Heck and no. And, and, and I didn't have a mentor for a long time. So to me, it's just like when I finally did, when I finally started learning this stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, thank God that I'm, I'm learning this stuff. I found the right thing. So I was like, thank God. I was so excited because I was willing to learn. I was willing to learn. And then people who come and then they get the blueprint or they get whatever and then they don't follow it. They don't have the same desire as me and that's fine because if that was me and I was struggling online and this lady, this lady came off the scene and was like, I got the blueprint and then I will follow it. I'll be like, what do I need to do? You see what I'm saying? It's a difference from, from different people. So like I said, whatever you're doing, you're going to get those results mindset is everything everything starts with the mindset you have to understand that whatever your results are going to be it starts with what you believe your results are going to be what you are willing to do what your faith is that's the first step and then you write it out and then you get to action massive massive action okay because whatever you're doing like i said that's the results that you're going to get so I will be doing a webinar next week, and I'll be doing a mentorship webinar. So you can really come on and ask specific questions of what you're trying to do. Because, you know, I do I do email marketing. I do funnels. I do all kind of stuff. But my main um, thing is Facebook uh, marketing without having to free, free Facebook marketing, because I've been doing that for years. And then I'm getting into actually paid marketing soon. These numbers that I show you guys are all free marketing. I don't buy leads. I don't do any of those things because I've, I've learned how to do it without it. But now, if I want to get to 100000 a month, I probably need to start taking some money and getting into paid traffic. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find somebody who's really good at paid traffic, and then I'm going to learn from them. And I'm going to do whatever they tell me to do. 
You see what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with following some steps. You really have to learn how to surrender your pride and your ego and, and just do what you need to do. You see what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. And that's how you do it. Hey, Selena, girl, you super late. I'm, I'm almost done with this, girl. Hey, I missed you, girl. Been working hard, y'all. Been working real hard. So, yeah, like I said, remember, B do have. Remember, cryptocurrency is the biggest wealth transfer ever. Cryptocurrency is where it's at. Cryptocurrency is so interesting. It's so awesome. When you do a cryptocurrency company, all you really have to do is is learn um, how it works. And if you don't know what the blockchain is, let me break down what the bro uh, blockchain I'm not going to go fully into that, but the Maybe blockchain is like, tomorrow. if you don't know this, the banks and a lot of the people at the top are manipulating your money. When you put your money in a bank, people can come and literally manipulate what you're doing. Manipulate what's in the banks, manipulate what they have. They can literally print money out of thin air. What the blockchain does is a ledger, okay? And that ledger takes the last um, person who sent the money in a blockchain, which is like Bitcoin or Ethereum, what happens is no one can change that. You see what I'm saying? That's powerful. Nobody can change. When you send money in the blockchain, no bank or anybody controls it. They can't come and change your stuff. Uh, change your money and say, oh, we supposed to get $100,000 from this. We supposed to get $10 from that person, this person from that. They can't do that with the blockchain. So nobody is in control of the blockchain, but it's always accurate and perfect and nobody can manipulate it. Okay. The other thing is people can send money throughout the world with just um, a click of a button with the blockchain. You don't have to go through PayPal. You don't have to go through Western Union. People from all across the world who sometimes couldn't even send money, they can send money on the blockchain. The other thing is when you have cryptocurrency, it grows in value. If you had $10,000 in 2009, when around the time when Bitcoin was created, if you had $10,000 in the bank, when around the time that Bitcoin was created, listen to me, you would have been a multi, multi-millionaire today. I'm sorry. Let me switch that. Anime. If you had $10,000 in the bank, let me switch that, y'all. Let me get it right. Sorry. Not the bank. I, I take that back. If you had $10,000 in the bank in 2009, today it will probably be worth about $5,000 or $3,000. That's what I meant to say. I'm going to say that again because I, I mixed up the things. If you had $10,000 in your bank account in 2009, around the time when Bitcoin was created, you today you will probably have your $10,000 will be worth around $5,000. Because the prices are going up and the incomes are going down. So that's inflation. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you had $10,000 in Bitcoin key management, key management, in 2009, when it was worth about $0.09, cents, it's worth over $6,000 today. So you do the math, $10,000 divided by $0.10. Cents. Can somebody do the math? What is $10,000 divided by $0.10? Cents? Anybody anybody can do that math real quick? I don't have... Yeah, somebody do that math for me real quick. We'll wait. $10,000 is about, about 10 cents. Y'all, what is that? How many coins is that? That's $10,000 is about, about 10 cents is like... What is that? 100 Bitcoin? 1,000 Bitcoin? Is that 1,000 Bitcoin? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> 10,000 divided by... Aaron, what's 10,000 divided by 10 cents? Uh, I think you already got it right, babe. I don't think I did. $10,000 dollars divided by 10 cents. I'm about to do it, y'all. Hold on. Aaron doing it on the computer. Is that 100000 No. Oh, my. We on the live. You already got it right. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ashley Diva said 1000 Okay, you. so then you multiply 1000 Remember, that money that was in your bank account was worth, today would be worth about 5000 if you had uh, $10,000 in Bitcoin, you would do 1,000 a thousand coins times $6,000. Can anybody do, what's 1,000 times $6,000? I mean, I'm sorry, a th yeah, 1,000 times 6,000. What's that? Is that 6 million? I'm trying to see which one. You need this one, two, three, four, one. We're going to the side. Is that 6 million or 60 you're million? Apple. You're on the Apple, right? Y'all just putting any numbers. I don't even know. Whatever, y'all. Okay, you would have, you'll be a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Let's just put it like that because I don't know the numbers. And I'm on my phone that I would do it. 
Somebody said a hundred thousand. Is it a hundred thousand? Is it a hundred thousand or a thousand? Man, don't play with me, y'all. I think Erin, when you did it, you said a hundred thousand. Is it a hundred thousand? Oh my gosh, y'all is not helping me. <laughs> yes. Okay, sixty million. I'm gonna go with uh. Christopher, I think it is sixty million. It's not six million, y'all, because well, a thousand is six times six thousand is six million. Whatever, as you can see, you have about sixty million because I think ten thousand dollars divided by ten cent is a hundred thousand. I think that's what it is. But we we do it later, and then a hundred thousand times six thousand is sixty million. So that ten thousand is no one. Whatever, y'all, it'll be it'll be you'll be a millionaire. Let's just put it like that, and it wouldn't be worth five thousand dollars. So that's what my point is, y'all. Okay, if you had that same amount of money in your bank, it would be five thousand. Okay, gotcha. It would be five thousand, and if you would have had that ten thousand in Bitcoin in two thousand nine, it would be worth over six million dollars. And people still sleep. We need a, we need a math intervention. That's what Reginald said. Well, we all know it's a million, right? Right, Christopher John. Hopkins said it's six fig seven figures, period. Seven figures from ten thousand dollars. So that is the power of Bitcoin, y'all. That is the power of cryptocurrency. So if you're not investing in that, you you are literally leaving money on the table. That's why um it's not one thousand, ten thousand divided by ten cents. Thank you, Gerard. I think Gerard got it. Because it's ten cents, it's not ten, and that's a hundred thousand. Yep, it'll be about sixty million. I think Gerard got it right. I don't got my calculator, but I know how to do the numbers. And I think he got it right because Aaron he just did that and he had a hundred thousand. It was ten cent. But anyway, like seven figures. But we get the picture. Yeah. Millions. <laughs> we get the picture. So I'm trying to That's warn it. people now because when I was talking about Ethereum, it. it was eight dollars, and now now Ethereum is worth over three hundred dollars. You see what I'm saying? This is what's happening, y'all. This is the type of thing that's happening. And I put some of the money that I was making in the opportunities um, that I was doing in cryptocurrency and it grew. So that that is so powerful. Somebody said six hundred bit. Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. I'm not listening. We seven multiple seven seven or ten. It might be ten figures. I don't know. Just know it's not it's not no ten thousand dollars no more. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yes, that's the power of cryptocurrency. What your goal is, everybody should have at least one Bitcoin. At least one and hold on to it for dear life. Okay? You can get more, but do whatever you got to do to get at least one. Because when it's when it's going to be worth a crazy amount of money. Again, you're not too late. That's why I'm trying to tell people. I told people what, $700? I told them at $1,000. I told them at $2,000. I told them at $3,000. And every time I told them, they said, whoa, that's too much for one Bitcoin. Well, they could have been putting $10 here, $100 there, $10 here. They wasn't listening. They just thought that it was too much money, and they thinking somebody trying to take their money. You see what I'm saying? But it's not too late. Even though it's $6,000 right now, you can still put you can still put money in it every time you get your check. You know what I'm saying? And your money will grow. And that's all I'm trying to tell people. They think I'm like trying to scam them or something crazy. I don't know. But at the end of the day, that's not going to stop me. I'm still going to get paid. I'm just telling people the more that you spread the awareness of Bitcoin and stuff, it goes up. Because the more people buy it, the more the demand goes up. And we only got four years left to um, bank on Bitcoin. Because it's gonna be, it's gonna go up to twenty one million left, and at that point, it's not gonna be no more in the next four or five years. And what's gonna happen is everybody gonna be holding on to their Bitcoin, and they're like, mm -mm, "You, I got my Bitcoin. You can't get my Bitcoin. It's gonna be too late. Then it's gonna be too late." Uh oh, look, she got in at eleven hundred a coin. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Eleven hundred a coin. Yes, in their mind, that's sounds. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. Hey, boo. Yes, and there, man, that's sounding like penny talk. I know, right? But, yeah, I'm just trying to tell people like it is. You can go back and watch the recording because I have some good information. Um, and especially you guys have to learn how to express gratitude. Even though you went, made through, may went, have went through BS. You may have went through BS or whatever. I mean, you got to learn how to be grateful for it and leave the past in the past. You got to learn how to forgive yourself. You know what I mean? So that you can get more abundance. And my son, he just started crying, so they they acting they acting up trying to ask mommy for stuff. 
Yes, Curry, 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 Big Money Mike said he's on his way to becoming a millionaire. Yes. Hey, Vanessa, girl. Hey, everybody. Ooh, what was that? I think I can invite people. What was that? Oh, my gosh. I can invite people to get on. Oh, wow. That's tight. Oh, my goodness. That's what people were saying. Oh, wow. I know how to do it. That is cool. Wow. I'm sorry. I just found out a new feature. I have all these features at the bottom. I didn't even know. What's up? Oh, Rose got in. This. I learned how to, I can invite people to live. Do you want to jump on the live? Uh, I'm on the phone helping somebody right now. But... Okay, he on, the, he on the phone talking. About, I was going to have Aaron get on. He he the king of ICOs and all this stuff or whatever. My face is the king Man. of ICO, girl. But like I said, nobody has to support your dreams. And that's very powerful. You got to support your own dreams. Don't expect nobody, everybody to be there for you when you're trying to do this and do this. You know what I mean? You got to learn how to be there for yourself. And that's one of the biggest takeaways that I got from when I was being, de when I was depressed and all that good stuff. That's one of the biggest things I learned. I, you have to be able to support, support yourself and be able to do whatever you want to do and, and go get whatever you want to go get. Okay? That's the power of it. And if you're depressed, you have to stop thinking about all the things. You can't get what you want in life thinking about all the things you don't want. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a violation of the law of attraction. Because if you're thinking about what you don't want, that means you're vibrating at a frequency of attracting the things that you don't want. So you really have to be conscious of your emotions. Your emotions are very important. If you are angry, you are going to attract more things that make you angry. If you are sad, you are going to attract more things that make you sad. If you are depressed, you are going to attract more things that make you depressed. So what you have to do is figure out and get clear on what you want. And you have to use only the thoughts and habits that serve your purpose. You might want to write that down because that's a powerful affirmation that I've been saying for a long time. I use only the thoughts and habits that serve my purpose because once you do that once you understand that you're focusing on all the wrong things and all the bad things in your life therefore you are attracting more of the bad things in your life when you begin to change that and do your affirmations and start to scream your affirmations start to feel your affirmations you see what i'm saying then you will be focused on the things then when you start writing out your goals you start writing out what you wanted this year 30 days blah 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 you start doing that now you know what you need to be focused on. You're too busy focused on the wrong things. See what I'm saying? So once you get your clear with your goals, now you know that you need to be focused on that. You need to think about the excitement that you will have once you accomplish your goals. You get what I'm saying? You need to be thinking about that because understand that until you begin to do that, you will attract everything you don't want. Yes, yes, y'all. So like I said, cryptocurrency is where it's at. It is the most trending thing out there. It's the most exciting. I had this lady, lady almost track me down. I was telling her about one of my opportunities, and it was about it was like an MLM type of thing a while back, and she was just like, uh, no. And then I started talking about Bitcoin, and she was just like, what? You invested what? And then this happened. She got so she got so excited. Her eyes lit up and everything. She was like, this is interesting. And she wouldn't let me leave until I took her email and gave her the information. You see what I'm saying? The difference is so I went from trying to pitch somebody to educating them on something that's really amazing that can change their life. And you may think that your company is about your product or your service. You got the best product or you got the best service. People are going to join you because of you. Because of you. Because of what you can do. What you can help them do. That's why. And that's the key to when you're trying to recruit people. Understand that because if you just blend in with everybody else, it's really no reason for them to join you. They can go to the link of the company and go join because they don't understand that you have something to bring to the table. It's called the law of difference. You have some something special. So when you have your goals, now you, you have your strategy and you can really, really help people. So I hope that helps somebody today. I'm going to get um, back to y'all later. I'm going to try to do more lives and stuff and I'm gonna do my webinar so yeah like I said I'll be doing my webinar next week and you'll be able to come on and, and ask questions and stuff like that and um, yeah all right now 
All right, now y'all go ahead now. Go learn some about some cryptocurrency and, and hit me up about oh, hit me up about he all late. <laughs> hit me up if you want to learn what I'm doing and you know what we doing with cryptocurrency, and how you can get more money, how you can get more freedom, how you can get more abundance, how you can learn how and to market online. And then you know we got I, I love bitty T-shirts if you want those. We got the hook up, boom boom bam. So yes, I hope that helps somebody, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.